Oh, the scale of this and all this. Talking about my and that's where gymnast. Hi, my name's Kelty. And if you didn't know, I grew up as an athlete. I played college basketball. I grew up playing volleyball, track and field, competitive swimming, basketball. Those are my bread and butter. I'm passionate about. But something I always wanted to be able to do but never did was gymnastics. I know a lot of girls you always hear doing cartwheels on the playground and stuff. I was never that girl. I was the girl playing soccer with the boys. I Full confession, I always wanted to be able to do cartwheels and handstands, but I was always embarrassed because I was the athlete, the sporty girl, and because I wasn't doing gymnastics, I wasn't doing dancing, I wasn't able to do any of those things. If you guys have been following me, I've actually set up my last year to train like a gymnast. I did my 100 push-up challenge, I did my 100 sit-up challenge, I did my yoga challenge. It's all to build this foundational strength to train like a gymnast for a year. And then COVID happened. <laughs> You know, six months of my life, out oh, the window. I was gonna train at a gymnastics gym here in Toronto. At first I was really upset, really frustrated, and then I said, nope, we're gonna adapt to this situation. My flexibility is crap, like crap. Let's just devote an entire month to stretching like an Olympic gymnast. From a viewer, it seems like a good idea to based on using math rates of affection. So for right now, the idea is that he would be the one to oh, make decisions. Oh, such a love hate. Oh, this side feels better. Why is that? Don't step on the grip. You're gonna break your mother's back. You can't tell, but I'm rolling over my hood and it's kind of dripping. Look, little book. Through my research, I was able to find the most common exercises every Olympic gymnast does. I made sure to perform those for 30 minutes a day, then an additional 36 minutes a day, I'd follow different high-level gymnast stretching routines. Throughout this video, I'll put on the screen the specific stretches I made sure to do that I found was common amongst all stretching routines, and then the resources I used in addition to that. I just took a break from editing. I'm just gonna do some extra stretching, like a midday. Third and pushing up towards the roof. So first one is pushing out. Hands flexed window, dropping elbow, moving my tummy up and side down. Couple of the rest of the exercises that we did were each hand. Oh, I'm scared to keep going. Ah, this is scary. I can do a back bend from the ground up, but just that that fall. <laughs> Yeah, the hardest part about this was the first week because stretching sucks when you're not flexible and I was the least flexible person you'll ever meet. I couldn't touch my toes. I did one stretching challenge a long time ago, but it was very minuscule, like 10 minutes a day. I've never, never built up this habit to stretching. I always, always put it off because disclaimer, everyone's gonna be like, how are you doing this? You're doing all these other challenges. Yes, this was not a workout. This was just like the recovery component. So I was doing other challenges with this because this is just stretching. This wasn't a workout. My routine today, flexible hack how to get the splits faster the 10 minutes before I get into any of my stretching we do foam roll which we should all be doing oh baby oh, yes. Yes. but around the three week mark I also started to panic a little because it seems to be the one claim to fame being flexible and being a gymnast is the split and that's what I put so much pressure on I could start to feel myself moving better. There was these little small victories I started to feel, but my splits were getting better, but I just started to get this glimmer of like, I'm not gonna be able to do the splits. Because I got frustrated seeing all these people who always have these results in like 10 days and I couldn't. And like, I come from an athletic background. I have a fitness channel and I couldn't do it. Debated even posting this video. Let's go. I don't have quite as much space. <laughs> Stretching would all just be splits. Do that, but it's a lot of this because I'm broken. Obviously, I can do this. 
but without flaring out. So you gotta keep this locked down. Proper form. <laughs> I can't get it closer. And that's where gym gymnasts are also so impressive. Cause obviously some are injured in that, but they have all that mobility that we don't even realize. That they, they can just do stuff like that. It's not just splits, my God. I'm so immobile. today so I've been stretching my upper body too and the biggest thing is my posture I noticed do you know how like dancers especially and I think of like yogis and ballet and dancers I was always jealous of like it still it didn't look dainty like but it just looked strong but feminine and open confidence everyone knows what that look is and I never had it because I felt I was always like this is kind of how I would naturally always stand before caught myself in the mirror and I looked and I was like I just have this open chest and I'm not trying to be like, oh. shoulders haven't changed in any way in comparison before I'd be like this and then now I find myself like this more I'm not perfect but it kind of comes more natural my knees and I finally got yoga blocks which have been the biggest game changer support yourself so much better and because right now I just kind of gotta go like this and you lean forward this feels good this feels good. Increasing flexibility, I just thought it'd be splits or no splits, but I realized that it's the little things you start to notice. The best one I can give is this. Before, I'd be like, to try and get it, but now, like it's a mix of flexibility, movement within the flexibility, and just like body awareness. Even though this is about stretching, I've just been playing around with handstands. Uh, today was the first day I was able to hold one for a couple seconds. I immediately texted my boyfriend and mom and was like, look what I did. I played around with changing my body. You know, you have a goal weight, you have certain waist measurement, grow your glute. Excitement for holding a handstand is way more exciting. It makes you feel so much better than yourself than any number on the scale or so. Just, just some food for thought. Day 30, I'm gonna do my last stretching routine and compare it to the first stretches I did on day one. And anytime I go to do some kind of fitness challenge, I always put on my favorite current outfit. It is very vital. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's kind of like putting on a uniform when I used to play sports. Just came out, so if you go, I'll have the link in the description. But these beautiful bad boys, these are the Breeze Lightweight Leggings from Gymshark. Them, like they're seamless, they're kind of got that naked feel, very smooth, which I like when I'm stretching. And this green, I love. Some Sometimes certain colors mean a certain mood, and green means go. Green is color my eyes. Green is nature. Green is spring. I'm feeling sunny. I'm more flexible. I'm gonna do this. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling light and happy and joyful. And that is the mood I want to go. Getting used to this.
enjoy it. Honestly, guys, I was really hesitant about even posting this. I was embarrassed that I didn't get the splits in a month. Like, I put in the work every day. I did the stretching like everyone. I'm trying not to put this pressure on myself because I think a lot of us, myself included, put these too big of goals on ourselves and that just stops us from doing it. And we should really focus on just like the little ones. When you just get the little goal, it adds up over time. Boring and like, okay, we get it. But I almost didn't post this video and I hope this resonates with someone because like this is the proudest I've ever felt about my body, <laughs> this challenge. <laughs> Oh my god, why am I crying? <laughs> I'm just like, uh, and I almost didn't want to post it because I didn't, I couldn't do the splits. And I just want you guys to know that, like, oh, why am I crying? I, like, um, I just hope you guys realize that, like, you should always chase goals, you should always try to improve in anywhere in life, but, like, the, the satisfaction isn't always in the end goal, and you really have to take pride in the little things. That's how you're gonna get there, and I'm trying to tell myself one day I'm gonna look back on these challenges and I'm gonna be able to do the splits. And just because something I did for me, I've always wanted to do cartwheel and do a handstand. But I'm really proud of myself because I, for my entire life, told myself, like, I wanna do a handstand, I wanna do cartwheels, I wanna do splits, I wanna do all these, and I really wanna work on my flexibility, but I never would. And this is the first time I did, and I really just tried to take the pressure off and just making a part of my life. And now I stretch every day for like half an hour and I play around like yesterday I just went into a field and just tried to do cartwheels for 20 minutes. I know that sounds so stupid, but it was such a fun way to move my body. And then there's little things like you saw throughout this video that I talked about that I could feel I'm more flexible. And yes, just because I can't do the splits doesn't mean I was not more flexible. Give me a second. Oh, like I feel so much better about my body and my body didn't really change. Like I'm sure if you look at it, maybe a little bit, but my body hasn't changed at all in 2020 too much, aside from the challenges you've seen, but it's not like crazy anything, but like I'm I'm the most confident I've ever been in my body because like there's just this body awareness I have that I got through this month of stretching and the only way I can describe it is it feels really good like I feel this was something so good for my body I hope that resonates with you guys and it also is just like lit such a fire under my butt the little thing that I know this isn't something I'm pushing aside like this is just step one of a journey that I'm gonna go on and I hope you guys want to come with me and I just want to keep doing it I'm excited to move every day I'm excited to be like maybe today I'll be to do a bit more of a cartwheel maybe i'll be able to hold a handstand for an extra and it just feels so good and no number on the scale or size of your waist will ever do that ever and it feels really good <laughs> oh and i'm just excited and it's really scary to be vulnerable like this and i know some people are like oh my god you stretch for half an hour for 30 days why are you being like this but i think it's just these small milestones in our lives um that we have to celebrate and i'm excited to see where it goes and I want to bring you guys on this journey because I will always do my challenges. I love them. I love making those for you too. But I think my gymnastics training, I don't even know what to call it. What do you guys want me to call it? Just this will be my training. Uh, I want to be able to do handstands, flips, cartwheels, <laughs> uh, splits, uh, cool yoga poses. And I guess this is the first month. And I'd like to hear from you guys. Do you want to have this mirror my hair journey? Maybe every three to six months do an update video. A lot of you are on your hair growth journey with me. And I hope a lot of you can kind of come on this gymnastics journey with me. I know a lot of people are learning to do handstand splits and things like that in quarantine. Hopefully we can go on this journey together. It doesn't feel like this is the end. This is the start. I hope you get out, move your body today, and just play around. Try saying, try and hold a handstand safely. Don't hurt yourself. Don't come at me with it. I broke my hand because Kelsey said to do this. It's <laughs> on you, not on me. If you do sound stupid because you listen to someone on the internet, that's on you. <laughs> I'm going to leave it off with one thing. Sam, you haven't drank water in three hours. I know you haven't. Go drink some water. Have a great day, guys. Go pet a dog. Love you. Bye.